Hi, welcome. Today we'll be learning about cell theory and microscopes. We will be starting off today um, talking about first cell um, theory versus law, then we'll switch to cell theory, and then we'll go to microscopes. If you're hearing the, the storm behind me, um, it's Sunday, so uh, this is during the storm. Okay, so let's start off talking about theory versus law. So theory and a law both use the, the scientific method is used to come and do that conclusion. So just so you know, um, you're going to have a hypothesis um, and you're going to have the same results over and over again. That's what makes you come up with these. But anyways, a theory is going to provide the most logical explanation about why things happen as they do. So this word is so important, the word why. Provides the most logical explanation about why things happen as they do. Um, example would be like how, like what, so it would be like you have brown hair. Why? Because of dominant and recessive genes. Um, why is a baseball um, falling the way it is? Because of gravity. So just always the why. So theory, I think if you remember that, theory is the why and explaining why things happen as they do. The law is predicts the results of certain initial conditions. So it's the what. So it's saying what is happening. Um, so predicting the unborn child's place, like the actual behavior. Um, there's going to be a lot of prediction um, due to observation. So observations will lead to an inference. That's usually what it'll be. So how far baseball travels at a la landed at a certain angle. So it's the what. So a theory is more of the why, and the law is what's actually occurring. So again, it'd be like uh, the child's behavior. The theory would be because of, like you would say, the why, genes or nature for law, you know, uh, nature versus nurture. Uh, so yeah, so um, comparing the two, the theory always explains why natural phenomena occur. The law actually summarizes observations to predict and create an inference. So remember, an inference is just almost like a question. The theory can never become a law and not law can never become a theory. Um, because like one is explaining the why and the other one is the what. They're two different things. They work together, but they're different things. They both the scientific method and they both can always be revised. I see a lot of questions asking like, it's always about being revi revision, revised. So just make sure you got that. Okay, let's get into cell theory. So there's three parts of cell theory. There's a little more to it with history, but you guys will do an activity with that. Um, later. Just for now, I just want you to know three parts. So you should be able to write these down. You will have an essay question on Friday. You have to write these out. Um, these, this is your essay question. So um, all living things are made up of cells. Cells are the basic units of structure and function. So basically like the basic thing of all life is a cell. Um, new cells come from pre-existing cells. Okay. So all living things are made up of cells. Cells are basic units of structure and function. And new cells are produced from existing cells. Okay, so that's it for then. We'll all, you also go into like more of the history of it on Wednesday. Um, microscopes. Microscopes work by using a beam of light or electrons to produce a magnified image. So this one here, this is the this is um, the microscope that you're going to see us using most often. It uses light, um, but there's also an electron microscope, which is huge, a big machine, very expensive, um, but the cheap one, of course, that's what we have here. So either light or electrons. So let's talk about our light one. There's two different light ones you need to know. So what obviously a light microscope is going to allow light to pack through a specimen. So you'll take a, a specimen would be like on a little um, glass slide. We'll be doing a lab on Thursday with these. So a little glass slide and you would put it in. So this is the compound microscope. You, this is one that one of the two. We use a lot of light microscopes. This would be one of the two that we'll use. Um, the comp, it's called compound because you have two lenses, an objective lens, which is this one right here, right above the specimen, and your ocular, ocular means your eye, is the lens that goes to your eye. So this one magnifies it first. You'll actually say things on it like times 10, times 100, times 1,000. Um, so it goes up to 1,000. Um, and then your, and here you have your eye. That's your ocular. So you have two lenses working together to get you what you need. And the light, sorry, the light passes through here. So light passes through your specimen and you see it through the lenses, the two lenses. So the first one's called a compound microscope. The second one, second one is called a dissecting microscope. Still uses light. Um, the difference is it's going to be less magnification. So this would be like you're trying to look at like a leaf, not the cells of a leaf. So this would be like your cells. Like you want to see like what your cell looks like. This would be like you just want to see like 
the basic part of a leaf. Like you just want to see, um, you want to see the vascular structures of the leaf, the outside of the leaf. Uh, maybe you want to see a water or droplet. So this would be bigger. So designed for low magnification. Um, if you look, it says two times. The other microscope, the compound microscope, was a thousand times um, for using light reflected from the surface. So using light, but this is just like way less. We'll use this also. These we will never use because they're very expensive, but we'll look at pictures. So this is like a mite, M-I-T-E. They're found in dust. Um, but this is going to give you like beautiful pictures. Um, electron microscope uses electrons focused by magnetic fields. The higher the resolution, it's higher than light microscope. Um, and allows for smaller structures to be seen. So now we're going to see small, tiny things in like really pretty pictures. Um, the first one is not as, um, it's not like the last one. It's called a transition micro electron. This is a huge machine. So you're looking at really, really large machines here. Um, you're going to see like, you know, like there, you can use it like in the hospitals um, to see like large protein molecules, to see cancer cells, things like that. So the transmission electron microscope, explore all cell structures in large protein. The images are flat and two dimensional because you have to slice it really thin. So you, when you were cutting this, you'd have to cut it very thinly. Um, we actually had one of these in my college and like part of my, like I had like a little job where I had to like actually make all the specimens and use this machine. So it's pretty fun. So transmission. So the electron microscope has two different ones. The first one is called transmission. That one's going to be just flat, two-dimensional, kind of almost looks like the same picture that you would see with your light microscope, the compound, but it is more in-depth. The electron's my favorite. It's beautiful, beautiful pictures. Um, a little small pencil beam. The machine looks the same, so it looks just like that. This tiny pencil beam of electrons scans over the surface of the specimen, and you get this beautiful three-dimensional image. So this is a blood cell. Uh, these are viruses and other cells in the body. Um, but yeah, you get that really beautiful picture of things that are very tiny, and then you you can actually do that. So when this all occurred, you cannot get color, but they actually in 2018 they like three scientists came up with like electron microscope that you actually now can get I think red, blue, and yellow only three colors. But um, if you see a very colorful one, which I'll show you guys some, um, it's because it's been it's been like a color's been applied later. So um, that's it. So um, really easy week. Uh, we'll focus on, you know, knowing the difference between theory versus law, the, the, um, the theory, the, um, the uh, cell theory specifically, and then uh, microscopes. So that's it.